Yeah. Yeah, let's move up to the table a bit and I'll just zoom out. Like an actual. You can't see my top of my face, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll play Guess Who? Who could this be? That should be good. What do you think? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we should record that. Look at cut. What do we want to talk about? What do you mean? Just, just gonna kind of wing it? Yeah. I have a lot, I have a lot of Earth, Earth Day, Earth Week type of stuff in the back. Okay. Yeah, so I got the stuff tomorrow. I'll kind of lead in with that because mm -hmm. I'll just tell you about one of the things that I'm doing. <clears throat> well, happy Friday and welcome to another edition of From the Shore, the official vlog of the Skinny Atlas Journal and SkinnyAtlasJournal.com. I am, of course, as always, your uh, beloved editor, Jonathan Monfaletto. And I am your ragtag. Awkward reporter Christopher Malone played into that one quite well. How's everyone doing this week? It's Earth well, Week. Well, cold. Yeah, it's <laughs> very cold. It it's funny because we kind of started talking about taking the video outside just before uh, spring, and it seems like every Friday since then when we do this video, it snows raining. or rains or mm -hmm. otherwise prevents us from being outside. Uh, not a big fan of it, I have to be honest. But thanks to Nest 58 last week for letting us use their little vicinity. Of course, yeah, that was great. That was a great little store. I, um, mm -hmm. I'd been in there a couple times before. Neat little place to check out. So uh, if you're in, in the village of Skinny Ellis, I mean, there's plenty of great shops to check out right there along uh, Genesee Street. But Nest 58 is, uh, is among the newest. Mm -hmm. And speaking of shops, you just uh, came back from one. Yeah, I went to Blooming Gales, which is over in Marcellus. Had a quick little conversation with Tammy about um, flowers and how long they've been there. And Mother's Day, Mother's Day's coming up. What a perfect time to get your wife or your mother some flowers. Or your, I think yeah. I might do that. Yeah. Are you, are you, did you get your Mother's Day flowers I, yet? You get my Mother's Day Don't worry, still have time. It's uh, about a couple more weeks to go. Yeah. Still got plenty of time. I've called flower shops the day before Mother's Day and they still get delivered That's on what time, Tammy so. said. She goes, you know, <laughs> the majority of the customers that come in are last minute shoppers, which to a fault, I think most of us are last minute shoppers. <laughs> the proverbial uh, Christmas Eve shopper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Chris said, it is uh, Earth Week or mm -hmm. Earth Day was uh, Wednesday, I guess. And uh, uh, also the Rotary District Conference is in town in Skinny Atlas. The Skinny Atlas Rotary Club is, is hosting it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they're doing tomorrow is a service project um, planning um, a couple of trees in Austin Park. So uh, I'm, I'll be checking that out tomorrow. And uh, another neat thing that I'm excited about tomorrow, also part of the, uh, the conference's activities, is uh, there's going to be a tour of the Charlie Major Nature Trail led by none other than Charlie Major himself. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we've fun. talked highly of Charlie before, and he really is a, I really do consider him a living legend in, in Skinny Atlas. He's always mm -hmm. a neat guy to, to talk to or, you know, hear some words from. So I'm excited to hear what he has to say um, mm -hmm. about the, the, the trail uh, or the uh, Yes, the trail named named after him. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, I uh, like that trail. It's very nice. It, it is cool, and and you know, kind of going back on our theme of when is it going to warm up and be sunny out. And <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting the chance to to go run it actually before before my meetings. I mm -hmm. I, uh, I run and work out at the YMCA in Skinny Alice and in Auburn, and I'm looking forward to, of course, being outside. Imagine yeah. that eventually, maybe. And speaking of being outside, this morning for our day, the Skinny Alice High School students saw uh, Mr. Garrett, Mr. Rick Garrett, his ecology class went outside and planted a tree with Jim Solicito of Solicito's Nurseries over on uh, Holly Hill Road over by the um, Ondaga Hill. Oh. So that was a nice, interesting morning photo with, filled with snow, rain, constant wind, low 30s, sun. This is a, I mean, what a better day Perfect to celebrate. Perfect day for tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, you know, hey, this seems to be a theme today, but warming up on the front page of this week's paper is uh, Mid Lakes Navigation. Um, they are uh, rebuilding one of their Erie Canal boats. Of course, they're famous for uh, the Judge Ben Wiles and the Barbara S. Wiles on Skinny Atlas Lake, but they also do um, 
Erie Canal tours and they're rebuilding one of their boats and I got to check that out last week so that's in uh, today's paper if you haven't seen it all, uh, sorry this week's paper uh, mm -hmm. not today uh, came out Wednesday of course um, so that goes a neat story and soon uh, we'll be hopefully seeing the judge Ben Wiles out in Skinny Atlas Lake Mm -hmm. have, you ever, have you ever read The Judge? No, I haven't. Okay, that's uh, yeah, I along with not. taking part in the Polar Plunge, I officially make that part of your uh, your new guy initiation, we'll call it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's neat. You get to, they offer lunch cruises, which are just kind of a short jaunt on the lake, uh, about an hour long. Mm -hmm. But then they also do the uh, three-hour-long dinner cruises, which is uh, neat. You spend probably maybe the first hour, maybe the first half of the trip, um, with your dinner, and then afterwards, mm -hmm. once they clear, and you get to kind of just walk around the boat and check yeah. out the the sights from from the lake, and it's it's awesome. It's great. just a great uh, great activity doing Skinny Atlas, and uh, I mean, the Judgment Wiles I've always considered a, a, a Skinny Atlas landmark, mm -hmm. uh, so it's neat. So we'll mm -hmm. make sure you get get you on the cruises. And after thirty two years of seeing that boat going back and forth, I would you would have thought I've I would have joined in on the fun, but I haven't yet. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. We'll get them. We got this on. Uh, we got the video evidence now. We'll get video Chris, evidence. We'll get Chris on the judge. Yeah. Anything um, else you want me to confess right now that I haven't done in Skinny Atlas? Well, one thing you did do was talk about. I think you talked <laughs> talk about this last week, but you actually the stories came out this week. You went to uh, Gilda's in, in Skinny Atlas. Yeah. Right? Oh, that was so much fun. Peter read us great guy to talk to. We had a great conversation. I had to, a, a lot of the com well the interview that I did just because of how long we talked for, uh, which is always fun about interviews. You get a little bit more personal with sure. people rather than just for the story but yeah that was such a nice i hope everybody gets a chance to try jealous it's the pizza is just phenomenal and he peter did say they are stepping up with the small plates um they they don't go by tapas because mm -hmm. tapas is spanish uh this is this is more um american cuisine mm -hmm. so go eat eat more and have some uh, fun around town. Cool. Uh, what do you have going on uh, next week? Anything uh, big that you're covering? Let's see. We have Marcellus Village and we have Spafford Town Board on Thursday. That'd be fun. Okay. Trying to sift through and see. Hopefully the weather is nice to get out and see what's going I on. I hope so. It is almost May. <laughs> uh, if you follow me on Twitter and you should, 